Bonjour, guten Tag, what's up, brav? no time to waste good morning the time now it is 8 15 i'm gonna catch my bus at nine o'clock but i just had like i always in the mornings what i do i take a shower i do my breakfast and then i go to training but let me show you guys the showers yeah because the shower is just amazing yeah so this is the kitchen by the way yeah and then you have the hallway here's the fridge but the fridge doesn't work somehow and then you go down the hallway and then here to the bath yeah to the toilet and then this is the shower press that button bam light goes on and then obviously water is coming and then you press this one and then you listen to music and then you just jump in the shower you listen to your music top charts and then you just dance and this is how my mornings start <laughs> so my daily breakfast with a mix of organic granola and protein granola with a banana and soya milk but to be honest I miss my Quaker oats seriously I miss them I think I need to ask someone from England to send me some Quaker oats protein porridge if you guys want to send me some porridge oats just send it to this and this address. <laughs> Wait, should I really reveal my address here? Nah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get this, one of my friends to send me some Quaker oats porridge, or maybe I can order them. Maybe they exist here as well. I should do some research. But yeah, I have my breakfast, and then we go again to another training session. And after my match yesterday, I'm not really sure what we're going to do today because we had a match yesterday. So if you play, I played 90 minutes, so you should do a recovery session the next day normally. But I don't know, maybe here where it's different, maybe we're going to do a full session, like I don't know, because I'm still on trials and, but we will see. Hey. Easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 you, you. He's our security. <laughs> Every morning. Roof, roof, roof. Every morning. Ay, caramba. And not in a million years because where he is. Like there's a door to that because the gate is closed. Not in a million years, doesn't matter how much money you give me, I will open the door, close the door behind me and be one on one with this guy. Not in a million years, mate. No, 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 no. This guy destroys you and takes you as a starter. <laughs> but all the focus to the training now <laughs> so i see you guys after and hopefully it's going to be a good session because i'm here to impress
and it's so nice and to train on that stadium is unbelievable wow as you guys can see the pitch the stadium is just amazing the pitch is proper like a carpet and i'm sweating like i don't know because it's like i think 28 degrees it's crazy hot but i was training today but before i say something about training the reason why i simply don't say the club is because i am here trying to show you guys my journey what i'm going through trying to motivate you and inspire you that you don't need an agent you don't need to rely on anyone all you need to fulfill your dream is to have a strong mindset a willingness to literally do anything and to be able to do sacrifices to travel to a country that you've never been to and to be by yourself the whole time but for the goal to sign a professional contract and this is what i'm trying to do with those videos because this world needs more of people like me who just do it who don't wait for any other people they just do it and i'm the kind of person i just do it maybe one person who's watching my videos he knows the manager and then the manager he's gonna have a different picture on me and he might think that oh he's not serious he just do youtube videos like why should i sign him because if if the manager doesn't know that i do those kind of videos like there's nothing to judge me on and that's the simple reason why i don't want that my trial team gets revealed but anyway how was training i thought that today it's going to be a bit lighter because obviously we had a match yesterday and the manager before training he asked me how am i feeling and i said i'm, I'm good and he asked me if i'm tired obviously i am a bit tired but in front of the manager i won't i won't tell i am tired no so i said okay i'm all right we did the full session like all the players that played yesterday we did the full session and it was an intense one but also fun at the beginning warm-ups with elastic bands which i highly recommend you guys to to get one of these like they are so good highly recommend you guys do warm-ups with those bands so good and then we did um a shooting drill like we were divided into three teams and it was literally 18 yards just shoot 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 and the team who scored the least goals they had to run at the end but we didn't and i scored like i think four or five goals from like eight shots so that was good and then we did again those intense 8v8 games and I figure out why the manager just loves 8v8 because the pitch is smaller because we played on a nearly half half pitch but because when you can see the goal it changes and it just goes so quick so it automatically trains your agility you need to concentrate, you need to focus, you need to mark, you need to communicate, you need to try to shoot as much as possible. And in those kind of drills, yeah, you just improve as a player to deal with pressure, high pressure when the opponents are pressing you. You need to be able to, to pass the ball quick. And before you get the ball, try to already think what you're going to do next. And I really feel like I belong to the team because I'm I'm accepted now. I... I joke with the assistant manager, with the kit man, with our physiotherapist, like all included. And the team really makes me so welcome. And I really feel like I'm in the team. And the manager told me that I play good. And we will see what's going to happen. We will see because it's still not done. I still haven't put pen to paper and still anything can happen. So... I still continue to see every single training session as it will be my last because I'm still on trials, but we keep going. And all the hard work that we did before, it actually pays off. Trust me, it pays off. 
So when you are right now in a situation, you don't have a club, you think, oh, what should I do? Guys, you saw it. Go out and get your opportunities. So simple. Man, that was a long journey back in the hostel because we were sitting for an hour and 10 minutes in the bus and I'm absolutely knackered, like my legs, like ooh, 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 ooh. And the thing is tomorrow training, Friday training, and then Saturday they play a match. But I am so hungry. So we're gonna cook some pasta with soya, tuna, and my nice, pesto tomato sauce I'm really looking forward to this because I haven't eaten at all and the time now so that you know what time it is it is 3 o'clock so we had training at 11 and then till 1 and then with shower and everything bus wait and 3 o'clock so I'm very hungry and I definitely later on I think I need a nap et voila nice so I definitely gonna enjoy this. I'm so hungry, man. And where's the dog? Is the dog still there? Oh yes. Yes, he's there. But with probably his owner. <laughs> so clothes are washed. And this is how I'm sweating after I wash the clothes. Whoa, but it has to be done every single day. Every single day I'm here and I wash my clothes. And that's how you really start to appreciate a washing machine. But obviously I don't want to pay 20 lei. That's like four pounds every day. Like, because I just know 20 lei is not two pounds, it's four pounds. So that's how much I pay per like wash. So annoying. I can't cook my eggs with bread because I'm a bit hungry now. So for dinner, it's just gonna be muesli with milk. And I'm actually really thinking of maybe changing a hostel, but this is so cheap. So do I really make the sacrifice to not sleep well? Because after a week now, every single day, I still can't sleep. Like, I can't sleep. I always wake up two, three hours. And I thought maybe it's because I need to get used to it, like new environment. And, but I still can't fall asleep and I still just can't sleep. So I might maybe change hotel with a single bed, but let's see. So the time now, it is 10.30. Tomorrow, another training session which starts at 11. So I'm absolutely shattered. Like I didn't have enough sleep in the night and I couldn't have a nap as well because obviously when you live with other people in one room, this is very, very hard. But I'm gonna get some sleep now. At least I'm trying to. And tomorrow we go again. Like we go again every single day. I don't know, maybe you guys want to see me training or anything else, but right now I'm on trials and obviously after our training sessions, like I can't go to a pitch here and then train, but let me know down in the comment section what you guys want to see. Maybe there's something you guys want to see more like, I don't know, just let me know, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. And keep in mind when you believe everything is possible. So team right now, and I'll see you tomorrow.